So this is the best way to give access to someone like me, a freelancer, consultant, or even to understand business, LinkedIn Business Manager to give access to your LinkedIn ads accounts to someone. And so let's jump in. So the first thing you need to go is go to your LinkedIn profile account, click on work here, and then click on advertise. A form's gonna pop up and you're gonna create a campaign manager. It's very simple stuff. Make sure you get the currency right because I think you can't change it afterwards. And then you're gonna be taken into your campaign manager, which kind of looks something like this, uh, except without any of these um, campaigns running. So just take note that this is the number or the ID of your ad account. Just You'll need this in a minute. Next thing you should do is go and type into Google LinkedIn Business Manager. Click on, um, you know, this one, Business Manager LinkedIn Marketing Solutions, and then sign in. And just sign in. And again, it's super simple to sign in, and you'll eventually get one of these. So now you have a business manager, and you've got a campaign manager, whether you add, add accounts or within your campaign manager. Campaign manager can hold multiple ad accounts. Um, business manager is kind of a newish thing, which is now basically housing numerous different things. So now we're here. Remember that this number here is your ID for your uh, business manager. And you have the ad account ID where I showed you before. So the first thing you should do is get your housekeeping in order. You should probably get people, click on the people button and just add the people you need to be part of this. Maybe add uh, your freelancer, your consultant, your agency, whoever is going as well. Um, but if you could add me, if you're, if this is for video for, uh, as a client, then invite people and add me. So invite, you'd click invite people and you would type my name. So here's, you'd put in my email address in here, phil at kin.co. Yeah, so you just add my email in there. Give me a contract to status. I'll just do that just in case you haven't done everything else properly. The actual proper way to do it though, to give like a con, like an agency or a third party access would be as a partner. They should have their own business manager. Like I do, I have a couple of different business managers I run. Um, and what we should do here is we should click on add partner and you're gonna add the ID, which is this one here. So whoever you're joining, um, if it's for me to add as a client, I'll put it in the in the email or in wherever, the Slack group. But you basically put this code in there and you add the partner and then they come here. And then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click on that partner. So let's assume it's this super lumen. Um, so this will be obviously to be here this would be us and you can see what i've shared with you and what you've shared with us so you just need to share with us i don't need to share like as a partner we don't have to share anything with you so you shared and here we go share your page um so when you created the ad account you should have associated a page so click on the share page and and you can share that page that you have already associated or you can find search by page uh, name there. So share that page with us as a partner. It'll be B2B Hero. And the second thing you need to do is share the ad account. Um, but before you do that, actually, you have to add your own account and add your own page. So sorry, going back here, you go to add account and add accounts. You click on add account, claim ownership, claim ownerships and request access. So claim ownership. So you click on that and you just type in uh, if we go back to this one, you type in this number here, this one here, and you type in that and add, and it should add it there, and it should work. Then you need to add the pages. This is for you. This is for your business manager to be linked. So for example, the page is there, but you can add a page, add a page here, add a page owned by the business. And you just click on the page, and it's going to ask for the specific page, and we'll know, hopefully, that you have access to it or else. So once you've added your own ad account and own page to business manager, then you go to partners and you share it with me. So once you've clicked on partners, it will load for a second and then you will um, go here, add partner, add us as a partner. Let's assume this is, this is the, uh, this is us. And then once you're in here, you're going to see you shared and they shared. So you should share with us. Um, both your page and also the ad account. So this is taking a really long time to load for some reason, but once you've done those two things, then I think we should be um, rosy and done. So yeah, that's it. Um, and I believe now in this new system, 
you don't have to do this step, but there's a possible that I might have to ask you to do this step, which is something we used to have to do. Um, and now I think with this, under this system, we don't have to. But if you go, if it hasn't worked, so I might ask, would also ask you to go to your page on LinkedIn. So for example, let's go to my page here. And on your page, once it loads, you're gonna see admin tools, click on admin tools, and you go to manage admins. And here, you're gonna make, um, see, I can see the business manager, so it should be fine, but you should make me add admin, uh, you should make me a super admin, and also a paid admin, so add paid media admin. Uh, sponsored content post a legion from click all of these and click save but you just have to type in Philip Pillich and it'll come up that'll, that'll put me so you click on that um, I'm already on this but yeah you click there you click there and you click there and you click save and then that person is um, good so that's how you give access to some, a third party like me um, to do this so hopefully that was helpful